Hello, you are welcome once again to SMS Course Accounting Lecture Series. My name is Sadat Mohamed Suye. In our last lecture, we learned about the advantages of cost accounting. We also learned about the disadvantages of cost accounting and we learned the differences between financial accounting and cost accounting. Today, we are going to learn about the difference between cost accounting and management accounting as well as financial accounting and management accounting. I hope that by the end of this lecture, we will be able to now appreciate and understand the differences between the branches or areas of accounting, which are cost accounting, financial accounting, and management accounting. Today, we are going to look at cost and management accounting. What do we intend to achieve? By the end of this lecture today, we should be able to state at least some differences between cost accounting and management accounting. We should be able to also state about four differences between financial accounting and management accounting. Cost accounting already has been talked about as expenditure we make to carry out activity and then the recording of these expenditures in the books of accounts. Management accounting goes beyond just recording expenditure. It goes to pick these expenditures that we have made, this cost of items and processes that we have incurred to make decisions, to take decisions for organizations. So management accounting is a broad term. But management accounting and cost accounting have similar principles because they are all dealing with costs, costs, costs. But management accounting goes a little beyond just costs to explain what the data is all about. So as cost accounting provides cost data, management accounting explains the cost data for managerial decision making. All right, so we could say the management accounting has both quantitative and qualitative characteristics because there are, there are some forms of estimation of data as well when it comes to management accounting. But there's an explanatory part of it which cost accounting do not have. Therefore, it is important for us to look at the specific differences between two these two things. Let's take a look at them. In the first instance, under cost accounting, it is related to recording and analyzing cost data. You get the cost data, you analyze it. What about management accounting? It provides or produces information that will be used by management for decision making. Mind you, the information that is produced from management accounting is based on cost accounting data. Okay, so that's the difference there. The main objective of cost accounting is all about ascertaining the cost of activities. So you ascertain the cost of an activity, which could be about a product, a process, a service. But with management accounting, it is there to provide management with information for certain goals. Now, cost accounting, if you look at it critically, it is all about short term. It focuses more on short term planning. So when we talk about short term planning, we are referring to planning that is going to be within a year in an organization. But when it comes to management accounting, it deals with the short term, medium term, and long term planning. So we are talking about something after two years, uh, one year, that is medium term, two to five, and over five years, we are talking about the long term plan. Cost accounting also, another difference that is associated with this is that it is quantitative information. It provides quantitative information. That's what I was talking about. It is about quantitative. When we say quantitative, that is mathematical calculations. 
But with management accounting, it doesn't just provide only quantitative, the mathematical informed data. It also goes to provide some qualitative. So it's both quantitative and qualitative. So the qualitative is the descriptive part that explains the data. Are you with me? That is management accounting. So cost accounting provides qualitative information, quantitative information only. But management accounting provides both quantitative and qualitative. Another difference between these two is that cost accounting is an aspect of management accounting. So you can take it like a circle. So a subset, we can say a subset of it. So two circles, one is inside and one is outside. I hope you are getting the scenario. I'm not able to demonstrate it here, but just picture a circle, two circles you have drawn. One is inside and that there's an outer circle. So the outer circle is seen as the management accountant and the inner circle is what? The cost accounting. So we are saying that the cost accounting is an aspect of management accounting. But management accounting is a broader term that consists of cost accounting. Another difference is that cost accounting system can be installed independent of management accounting system. So you can have a cost accounting system running in an organization without a management accounting system. But you cannot have a management accounting system in the organization without a cost accounting system. What it means is that management accounting system is based on cost accounting. If cost accounting does not exist, it will be very difficult to have a management accounting system. These are the differences that are associated with these things. Now we are moving on to look at the difference between financial accounting and management accounting. Now financial accounting, as we explained, we have also explained what management accounting is all about. We want to look at what is the difference between these two. So financial accounting normally, it, it's records are mandatory. When we say mandatory, what we mean is that the records of financial accounting are required by law. You must prepare reports. But with management accounting, there is no mandatory quality there. There is no law that says that you must prepare management reports. So it is not mandatory. Financial accounting is mandatory. The cost of record keeping is a necessity. Because it is mandatory, no matter the cost, you must still record it. When it comes to financial accounting, you can say, oh, because it's costly, I cannot, I will not be able to do it. No, you must. It's, it's mandatory. But when it comes to management accounting, it is justified. If it is not necessary, you don't have to. If it is not always remember, the surest way to make profit in business is to beat down your costs. And therefore, if the management accounting system is not necessary, you don't. So you need to justify it. And the reason why you need to justify before you implement a management accounting system in an organization is that it is not a mandatory requirement. Financial accounting is mainly concerned with performance. So we are looking at the profits. How many profit, How much profit have we made? What is the loss? What is our position? When it comes to management accounting, we are looking at our cash flows. We are looking at our profit and general management of the business. Alright? So that is what we are talking about. Then, we are also saying that for financial accounting, it mainly keeps historical data. Historical data means information that has passed. So you see that when before uh, when you pick financial reports for 2021 you get it in 2022 so it's not like historical all right so it doesn't you don't get it instantly but with management accounting it is not all about historical even though sometimes there's historical but it is more concerned with predictions it's about future predictions are you with me then we can also talk about another difference and we are saying that the objectives and uses of financial accounting are not defined by management we have bodies that define them. For example, when it comes to financial accounting, the advanced financial report, we are talking about international standards that are guiding how it is done. We are talking about the laws of the states that guides how reports should be there, regulations of organizations, companies. When it comes to management accounting, there are no regulations. So management has the, they decide how they want their management accounts to be. They will tell you the procedure. They define the uses and objectives of these things. Financial accounting, the uses are already determined. Okay? So that's the difference between the management accounting and financial accounting. Now you see that you now understand what management accounting is, what financial accounting is. Now you have seen the difference, clear difference. Then you have also learned the difference between cost accounting and management accounting. It's very interesting to learn these things. So today, we have been able to learn the difference between management accounting and cost accounting.
as well as management accounting and financial accounting. Let us take a look at what we expect in our next lecture. In our next lecture, we'll be learning some terminologies used under cost accounting. Very important to know what are the terminologies because under every industry or every section or every subject area, there are some terminologies that are unique to that particular area. So we want to find out the common terminologies used so that as we are moving further, as we mention them, it will be clearer to you. So we'll be learning things like what a cost center is. We'll be learning about a cost unit. We'll be learning about unit costs. We'll be learning about a cost ascertainment, cost allocation, cost apportionment, cost control, cost reduction, cost audit, cost estimation, cost object, cost driver. Of course, these are the things that we'll be learning and I hope that in our next lecture it will be interesting. Please subscribe to my channel and thank you for listening to me. Have a nice day. Goodbye.